Wowie, wowie. <laughs> wowie, zonk. Nice, it's just like the launching tower at Cape Kennedy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm sure having fun. <laughs> slightly unconscious from being hit in the head with a bolt of lightning. Why was he lucky? Any place else it would have killed him. <laughs> He's coming too. I'll take the sheet. No, 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 Lily. I, I don't touch him until I prepare you emotionally. <laughs> it's wrong, Grandpa. Did the lightning disfigure him? Yes, my child, I'm afraid it did. Oh, my poor Herman. My poor darling. Mm. Well, now, uh, brace yourselves. I'm going to unveil him. Now, be brave. Remember, my children, no matter how gruesome he looks, he's still our Herman. <laughs> We're going to have to break this to him gently. <laughs> oh, where am I? You're right here, dear. In the bosom of your family. You got hit in the head by a bolt of lightning. I did? How? How? By fooling around with my machines, you big schnook. <laughs> Well, it's all his own fault. Uh, 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 schnooks rush in where wise men fear to tread. <laughs> how, how do you feel? Uh, I feel fine. I feel fine. <laughs> no harm done. <laughs> That's funny. My clothes are too big for me. Well, I guess the heat of the lightning expanded them. <laughs> what are you all staring at? Haven't you ever seen big clothes before? <laughs> Why is everyone staring? Lily? Yes, my beloved? I demand to know why everyone is staring at me. Herman, uh, I'm afraid to say this, but the uh, explanation can be found in the nearest mirror. The nearest mirror? Mirror? Mm -hmm. ah! Get him some water, quickly! <laughs> I've never seen that man before in my life. Neither have we. This is a practical joke. <laughs> While I was unconscious, you put a mask on me. <laughs> no, no, Herman, Herman, no, it's not a mask. It's, it's really you. It's amazing. From one lousy bolt of lightning. <laughs> Herman, drink this. Oh, thank you. I'm drinking. He's drinking. <laughs> It really is me. <laughs> Grandpa, throw the rest of this water in my face. Maybe it'll wash off. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> He's still there. He's still there. 
taunting me. I'll never be able to do it. You'll never be able to do what? I'll never be able to go through the rest of my life with a face like this. <laughs> You mean you just got an upper and a lower for the four of us? That's right, dear. You see, that way I got the excursion rate. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, we'll simply have to double up. You and Grandpa can have the upper. But, but Lily... No arguments. Do you want to spoil this miserable trip before it's begun? <laughs> now, Eddie, you run along and get ready for bed. Don't forget to brush your fangs. <laughs> Will it be all right with you if I go first? Certainly. <laughs> So I just have to jump up there. I should have stopped off at the freight yards and bought a livestock permit before we boarded the train. Why do you wonder that? Because I never traveled with a jackass before. <laughs> forgotten which one it is. The two men looked up in quivering horror. It's along here somewhere. Suddenly, from behind the curtain, appeared the ghost-like figure of the dear dead Lady Madeline, still wearing the shroud in which she had been buried. Oh, I think this is it. must have suddenly realized he'd passed his station. <laughs> Settle down! Oh. It almost killed me getting undressed in here. Knock it off, Grandpa. And um, will you get your foot out of the pocket of my nightie? <laughs> Boy. Last time I tried to sleep in a place this small, some guy shoveled dirt in my face. <laughs> Herman, Herman, what's the matter now? I need a drink of water. <laughs> No water. I'm dying of thirst. You know who used up the water? I tell That's what I do. 
I'd kill him. 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 What's going on? I don't know, dear. I didn't realize that many people were nervous about riding on trains. <laughs> Hand me the rotating oscillators. <laughs> rotating oscillators? They look like two egg beaters to me. <laughs> Who asked for an opinion? <laughs> Hand me the spherical rectifiers. Those two old crummy bowling balls? Oh, boy. Where is your scientific mind? I mean, if Thomas Edison had had you helping him, we'd all be watching gas television. <laughs> <laughs> May I help you, ladies? Uh, yes, uh, I'm Mrs. Harkness, the Mrs. Harkness, and this is my daughter, Dorothea. We saw your little shop, and it, it, it looks so quaint. Mother and I are always looking for something new and different. You see, the ball of the season is coming up, and Dorothea and I are determined to be a dramatic success. Now, all you have to do is make us beautiful. We're already rich. <laughs> well, ladies, you see, here at Lily's, we feature the glamorous old world look. And Madame Lily is our beauty expert. Oh. Here she is now. Greetings, ladies. Mother, what is that? <laughs> You're all characters, my dear. You remember our last beautician wore a beard? But she did marvelous work. <laughs> Now, I tell you what, you just leave yourselves in our hands and we'll create something for you, just for you, that is utterly, utterly new and different. Very well. If you can guarantee that when we enter the ballroom, all heads will turn. Rest assured, when we're finished with you, people will not be able to believe their eyes. <laughs> Well, Herman, the machine is finished and we're ready for our first test. You really think it'll transmit electrical power through the air? We'll know in a minute. Now, Herman, you just take this electric light bulb and stand over there. Now, when I turn on the machine, that will light the bulb. Huh? Yeah. Now, get ready. <laughs> the electric shaver. for Mrs. Harkness. Thank you. Now, 
while that's soaking. I'll curl Dorothea's hair. <laughs> Back in the chair, dear. Hurt a bit. And now for the supreme test. When I turn on the machine, I'm going to light all the street lights in the city by remote control. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Is this a momentous event? I haven't been this excited since the moon maid had a baby on Dick Tracy. <laughs> Quiet, Herman! Quiet! <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the machine full blast! machine's quite ready to be put in the market yet. Imagine a woman pretending to be my wife. <laughs> Boy, some women will go to any lengths to snare a handsome rascal. <laughs> You've come back. Oh, my darling husband. Oh, it's been so long. Hey, well, let's can the mushy stuff, sister. <laughs> you know darn well I've never seen you before in my life. Now, calm down, sugar boy. Come in. You come right on in and let me pour you a nice glass of champagne. Thank you, but, but uh, uh, you see, we Draculas don't drink wine. <laughs> and now let's get this one fact straight. I am not your husband. Oh, darling. Don't you remember our wonderful marriage? I certainly do not. Don't you remember those romantic strolls we used to take hand in hand along the lake? No. And then we'd get into our yacht and take a little midnight cruise. How a yacht? <laughs> we'd go across the lake to have dinner at the country club. The country club? <laughs> and all those marvelous parties we used to have on our beautiful estate. <laughs> Our 400-acre estate with our very own stable of horses, 52 horses. And you, oh, you were so much fun in that $10,000 Stutz Bearcat I gave you. $10,000 Stutz Bearcat? Oh, darling, please tell me you remember our wonderful marriage. Well, I'll check it. If you just keep on talking, I think it'll all come back to me. <laughs> Thank you, Clarence. Oh, Clarence? Oh, darling, this is my, uh, our attorney, Clarence J. Wedge. And he has a little piece of paper that he'd like for you to sign. Oh. <laughs> sign it right here where I have the X. Of course. <laughs> I'll sign anything. Uh, just so long as you and I can pick up where we left oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> Country club, estates, yachts, studs, bear cats. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to get going. <laughs> By the way, Wedge, old boy, what was it I signed anyway? Well, just a sworn affidavit stating that uh, you were Miss Thornton's husband. And just as long as you sign that piece of paper, <laughs> that's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Herman, what do you think has happened to Grandpa? Now, now, Lily. By this time, he's probably set that woman straight and on his way right home. You know, and I'll bet he really told her off, too. <laughs> Just shows you how much he loves us and needs us. Why, he wouldn't give up our wonderful home life for anything in the world. <laughs> there he is. Hi, Grandpa. Where's the fire? <laughs> Shut up, stupid. <laughs> See? 
He's back to his old normal self again. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, how did you make out with that old hen down at the hotel? <laughs> Watch what you're saying about my wife, Buster. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Grandpa. You're quite a card. Uh, the next thing you'll probably do is to come up here and tell us you're moving out of here and going to live with her. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> Grandpa, you're not leaving. Well, I'm sorry, Lily. You see, I just discovered that I'm a very wealthy man. And it wouldn't be fair to you and the rest of the family to have a, a rich aristocrat like me living here. It would make you feel inferior. <laughs> <laughs> Open up, sweetheart. It's your loving husband come to share your fortune with you. <laughs> Who is this silly old man? <laughs> now, Pamela, dear, as your newly found, long-lost husband, I demand an explanation. All right, stupid. I'll give you one. You see, I was to come into a large inheritance. But in order to collect it, I had to prove that I was married. You mean we're not really married? <laughs> of course not. I just happened to see your photograph in an old magic magazine. <laughs> and I figured that anybody that looked like you did should have passed on years ago. Well, thanks for the compliment. 